When I met him very briefly, I said, think also about power plants and pipelines. And I said, will you please sign my banjo, which he did. And I have a photo of that if you want. I was able to introduce him in Binghamton. There's only one candidate who is anti-fracking. Who is it? He rolled out a speech on fracking that was actually scientifically accurate. He correctly identified the risks to water, to air, to public health, to local pollution. He also identified how fracking is really, really dangerous for the climate. And then he correctly credited the fracking ban in New York to the citizens. The second time I saw him, I realized that the first time I saw him, I didn't say thank you. And I said, hey, Bernie, I got something to tell you. He kind of looked at me like, oh no, here's gonna be another lecture from another person with a specific issue. But he was ready to go and hear me. And I just said, Bernie, thank you. Thank you for what you've done for America. His whole face lit up, he put his arm around me, and it was a great moment. I just had to say, look, you've already won. You've transformed America. You've united these movements under this idea of the political revolution.